Surat, welcome back to the program. We treat you well here on Power Lunch. There's no lunch involved, you, however. You are, and you are very kind, so I, thank I know, you. it's a mutual admiration society. Surat, value the financials. We're in a rising rate environment. We know that. We've got a lot of global conflicts. We've got a lot of global confusion, lack of clarity about what's going to happen in Europe and parts of Asia, including China. Why are you finding value in some of these financials? So if you look at it, Brian, I mean, I've broken down two different companies here. Morgan Stanley, for example, I mean, 60 percent of its business is wealth management. That's growing high single digits. The rest of the business is capital markets, M&A. That we know is a trough business right now. Stock selling at less than 11 times earnings, solid balance sheet, almost a 4 percent dividend yield, a big buyback in place. And if you look at kind of their acquisitions, such as, you know, Eaton Vance that they've done in E-Trade, these are all accretive, and I think the stock has just kind of been sold off. They have very little credit exposure. They really have almost none. So if you think about a company that you want to own that has recurring revenue, has a great business management team, you know, it's a stock that's trading at, 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 a, at a discount to the S&P that's growing at a much larger rate than the S&P. The, the second one is American Express. Now, here's another great, well-run company. The brand is incredible. You've seen a huge amount of travel, entertainment. And the thing that people don't understand about Amex is the growth is really coming from the younger customers. It's Gen Y and Z. They are almost 75% of the growth with credit cards in the platinum area, in the, in the higher level. And the recurring revenue there, that's a 90% rate of, of people keeping their cards. So we see that also as a great inflation play because credit cards on Amex, again, as people spend more money, they make more money and they're global in nature. So they're actually going to do really well kind of as people are now, as you've seen it. Look at the travel and, and entertainment business. It's, it's really, really growing. Yeah, but we're talking about a consumer-led slowdown. We, we just don't have much visibility on the consumer longer term, Surat. We're seeing probably default rates. They're inching up, but you wonder how it, once people <laughs> they wake up and realize they're paying you know 22%, not 7% on their credit card. Sounds like you're fairly confident so in, in the consumer. So remember, Amex is much more of a charge card than a credit card. So, so if you look at it that way and you look at small businesses also spending money on all of this coming out and all the data, I mean, look at the airlines right now. You can't get a seat on there. Look at the hotels. Uh, and what Amex does is it makes it so much easier for people who have that card. Again, I'm not saying you're buying a company that's selling it, you know, 20, 25 times earnings. This is 13 times earnings. It's got a very strong balance sheet. They reinvested a lot into their brand. Uh, so this is something you want to own. You know, it, it's already discounting a, a trough. I mean, to your point, it's already discounting at its valuation, which hasn't been this low in a long time. So high quality companies, those are the ones you want to buy when you see the slowdown, because when we come out of it and nobody knows when the bell's going to ring. But when it does, these are the companies that lead you out of the downturn as opposed to kind of ones that you want to still be defensive. Do you think, uh, Surat, that the market should be discounting a slowdown as much as it is? I think at this point, the market is so confused as to what the Fed is going to do and what's going to go happen geopolitically that, that it's shooting first and asking questions later. So high quality companies are trading at you know, high single digits, low you know, 12 to 13 times earnings. They've already been discounted. So I think it's more of a fear factor. You kind of had this when we had the COVID factor, too. I think the proof's going to be, hey, can you execute? I mean, Amex is going to grow their, their earnings 20 percent next year, but yeah. the market doesn't believe that. So it's really a show me story. And when you have high quality management teams and high quality products and brands like the Morgan Stanley's and Amex of the world, those are the ones you really want to own, especially when they're, you know, they're, they're on the, the discount rack. Surat, nice to see you. Thank you. Thank you. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.